The big scoreboard at one end of Applejack Field in Manchester has been a fixture ever since the former fairground site reopened as a sports venue more than a dozen years ago. Local school teams, mostly soccer, lacrosse, and football, have played there, and increasingly so are college and semi-pro teams. The scoreboard was originally donated by the Rotary Club of Manchester back when the field reopened, but time has taken its toll, and the scoreboard now needs to be replaced. But it will be replaced by not one, but two scoreboards, a larger one in the same location, and a second one, which will be mounted on the announcer's booth across on the opposite side of the field from the grandstand. This second scoreboard will also be the product of the Rotary Club and its fundraising efforts. The Rotary Club will be involved in several fundraising projects to generate the $8,000 the new scoreboard will cost, said the club's president, Lynn Rawson. So we will be doing fundraisers over the next couple of years to pay for the scoreboard uh, for the... The announcing booth, yep. The, thank you, the announcing booth. Uh, so when you see us out there selling raffle tickets or hosting events, just know that that money will be coming right back into this community. There's one right now going on and it's, uh, it's a raffle ticket and it's called A Thousand Reasons to be Thankful. It is our third annual uh, Thanksgiving fundraiser. The tickets are $10 a piece. We are only selling 300. The winner will get $1,000 and 2,000 will go directly to this scoreboard. The second scoreboard will cost an additional sum and will be paid for by another local business, O'Keefe said. You know, we're, we, uh, we're continuing to, um, to attract more high school soccer games here. We'd like to put in a bid in for next year's state championship game. We've contacted the VPA about that. So uh, we've had a pretty high level of play here, uh, but we're still committed to, to hosting high school games and, and, uh, and even MEMS games. We had two MEMS games here this past fall, and we had uh, numerous soccer games, PBA, boys and girls, uh, and then we started hosting Long Trail a couple of years ago. And we had a couple of games here this year as well. So, um, you know, we're trying to up the level of play here, but at the same time, uh, stay true to, uh, to the local sports that we've had here, like youth. And of the new scoreboards should be in place by next spring, in time for the coming sports season. For the GNET TV News Project, I'm Andrew McKeever.